welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be doing a massive used book haul. So I just got back from one of my favorite things in the entire world, which is a used book sale. And usually, you know, I find some stuff I like, and this time I, I, I went overboard. Even I'm going to admit I ended up getting 34 books, but I only ended up spending about like 60 to $70, I think, for all of these books. And considering how much they'd be new, and I will read them all, I promise, eventually at some point. So considering that, I'm not going to talk too much about each book because then this video would be like half an hour long. So I'm going to break this up into sections. First, I'm going to do the YA. First, I got Vampire Academy and Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead, and these are books one and four in the Vampire Academy series. Next is The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. This is my favorite Sarah Dessen book, besides this lullaby, and I do not own it yet, so I thought I might as well get it. And most of these books were $3. Sugar and Spice and Sweet Little Lies, both are by Lauren Conrad. These are books, books two and three in her L.A. Candy series. Shiver by Maggie Seavotter. This is the first book in the Shiver series. I actually have a review of this, and I will link it down below. And then a hardcover copy of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Mortal Instruments series, and I do already have this book in softcover, but considering that the movie's coming out and I saw this bad boy in hardcover, I knew I had to get it. Okay, so next is going to be the Nicholas Sparks portion of the review. I have a unhealthy obsession with Nicholas Sparks books and with all of these I think I now I own all of them. True Believer, all of these next ones are going to be by Nicholas Sparks. Nights in Rodanthe. The Wedding. The Best of Me. The Choice. The Last Song. And The Lucky One. And I think I have read all of Nicholas Sparks books besides one so if you guys would like to see me do reviews on any of them or kind of like a collective video on what I thought of all of his books, then let me know. Okay, next we are going to do kind of the classic-ish books. Most of these are classic. Some are just books that a lot of people, most people I know I've read and I just haven't gotten around to yet. The first one is Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosne. I have seen part of this movie and I've been meaning to get around to this book for so long but I just never checked it out of the library. Is The Help by Catherine Stockett. This was made into a movie, and it won a ton of awards last year, and I just haven't read it yet because my TBR list is 260 books, and with all of these, I bet it's going to be somewhere around, like, 300, which is a scary number. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I have to read this book later this year, and I personally like taking notes in the books that I have, so that is why I got a copy of this. The Tales of Edgar Allan Poe with SAT words highlighted. I am a fan of Edgar Allan Poe, and I will read this as SAT prep. But yes, that's the excuse I'm going to say to my parents when they ask what I'm reading. Hamlet, Shakespeare, I have to read this in, I think, one or two years. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. This is actually my summer assignment. I didn't realize how small it was. So that's good. That means I can spend the rest of my summer in reading books that I actually like. Anne of Green Gables by Ella Montgomery. This is one of my favorite classics, and I couldn't remember if I actually owned it or not. And I think it was only 50 cents. So for 50 cents, I would take that gamble. The Scarlet... Pimpernel, Tom Sawyer, Good Orth, and Robin Hood. I did not know this included all these books. I thought it was just Scarlet Pimpernel, so bonus. And this book was only a dollar. I'm sorry that I wasn't exactly saying the prices before, if you want to know. I think all of the Nicholas Sparks books were three dollars, and so were most of the other ones. And then Othello by William Shakespeare, which has notes. I actually have to read this book next month for school, so if I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna be reading as much next month because I have to finish this bad boy. The next section is going to be kind of a bit of odds and ends. I guess you could say it's some chick flicky stuff and some other books that I just didn't really know what other categories to stick them in. This one is Cleopatra, A Life by Stacey Schiff. I know my mom read this book, and I think she liked it, and one of my friends did too. And I'm really into history, and I like Cleopatra. I got two books by Jodi Picoult. Uh, my Sister's Keeper and Vanishing Acts. I actually saw the movie My Sister's Keeper in Driver's Ed, and I need to read the book. Because usually I read the book before I see the movie, but I didn't really know we were going to be watching it that day in class. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. I know this was a movie. I've seen part of the movie on an airplane. 
The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger. I really like this movie, and fun fact, the author of this book actually went to my high school. The Vow by Kim and Cricket Carpenter, another decent movie. Julie and Julia by Bully Powell, another great movie. Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. And those are probably books that I will read during the summer when I'm on the beach. And last but not least is probably no books that you guys are going to be interested in, but as I've probably said in some of my videos before, I'm really big into baseball, so I got a couple of baseball books. First is Pete Rose, My Prison Without Bars, and this is kind of one of his biographies. The Yankee Years, uh, Joe Torre and Tom Berducci, and Baseball's Greatest Quotations. I actually managed to get that video done with not too long. If you want to hear my thoughts on any of these books, just be sure to l let me know in the comments below or if you've heard anything about any of these because some of these I just picked up and I heard maybe a few little things about them but I didn't know too much. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again soon.